Here's a quick update on uh, tropical weather, as well as your weather for the uh, lower 48 of the United States. Let's jump right into what could be Tropical Storm Sandy within 24 to 48 hours. We have it just south of Jamaica, south of Haiti, and this storm will continue, let me move over here, will continue slowly towards the west-northwest. In fact, it's going to start slowing down very, very slow and could become stationary just south of Jamaica, causing life-threatening flood uh, to the higher elevations of Jamaica and uh, southeastern, uh, southwestern Haiti up here. Um, so this is something to keep a very close eye, and the system has a 70% chance of developing, and this storm could be sandy before long. We also have another area out here. It has anywhere from a 25 to a 35 percent chance of developing. It's just northeast of the Lesser Antilles. So we got a few areas to watch the next several days. Uh, let's take a look at the lower 48. I'm going to skip right to Northern California here and Southwestern Oregon, where we do have snow levels lowering to 4,650 feet uh, just north of Redding. Um, right around the Klamath Falls area in southwestern Oregon here. Um, so we've got uh, lowering snow levels with that cold front that's moved in. Uh, heavy rain will move into the valleys from Medford on up over to Portland, Seattle, and heading down towards Eureka here. Um, so snow levels will be lowering to 4,650 feet. Um, so all those mountain passes uh, down to Mount Shasta and whatnot should be prepared for uh, there's one or other advisory for two to six inches of snow. So be prepared for that. That's where our heaviest precip is going to be during the next 48 hours. Here in the east, we're experiencing lots of warm air. Texas and Oklahoma in the 80s, almost unheard of for this time of year. Cold front dropping southeastward. Um, this, these are actually normal temperatures up here in the northern Rockies, 40s, mid to upper 40s. So it's cold fronts giving a little bit of a taste of reality. And in eastern Canada, we have 60s all the way up into, which is going to be 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, all the way up into Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and all the way over towards Quebec and Ontario provinces. And the cold air is really bottled up here in British Columbia and Alberta, western Canada here in the Yukon. Uh, let's take a look at uh, precipitation amounts. Before I do that, I want to jump into uh, the fact that there's going to be um, a satellite picture of this tropical wave. Look how large and expansive it is just south of Jamaica here. Very, lots of thunderstorms. This thing really has a good chance of developing. Let's take a look at precipitation models, uh, mainly in the northwest here where we're going to see two to five inches of rain with two to six inches of snow. Um, in northern California here, from Redding up to Eugene, Portland, Medford, Klamath Falls, all these areas. And along the um, Great Lakes here, the upper Great Lakes, about a quarter to a half an inch with this cold front. I'm meteorologist Mark Mulner for www.mediomark.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at Meteomark and subscribe to us. Um, I'm going to leave you with the four-day forecast for my hometown. For anybody who's watching, which a lot of my viewers are from my hometown, I leave the forecast at the end of the video. Um, 